times in a row. Yeah, he went one and two in his group stage at the challenge. Had to play in the wild card against Ghost, a belt winner. Had to play in the quarterfinals against Kiv, a belt winner. I mean, he is battle tested through the challenge. He's looking to make a name for himself here in salary cap with the Madden Bull. He'll start off on offense. Eli Manning, 11 yeah, kick QB. This is who's going to take the ball. It's Bo Jackson, play number one. And Bo knows how to kick off the single elimination. He'll find his way to the end zone. First play of the game, just incredible. That human joystick, we talked about it, we hyped it up so much. And first play of the game, he takes it to the house. What a way to start the game, wow. You saw that human oh, joystick so, at work in the hole. Uh, TD, it wasn't, you know, overly flashy, but just a couple of those little swerves got some defenders out of position. And once he's in open space, you can wave goodbye. Oh, without a doubt. Noah's stick work is already one of the best in the world, and then you add on that human joystick, it almost makes it impossible to tackle him in the open field with your user. Wow, what a way to start the game for Noah, and he's already talking. No surprise that Noah's going to be chirping a little bit, even though he's playing at home, as Chris will take this one up to the 22. Yarlan, let's take a look at our Snickers touchdown replay. TD, Bo Jackson, out of here. Just a quick halfback dive, and he just wiggles left and right and goes untouched all the way. Crazy swagger, crazy stick work, and Noah's fired up. Paying homage to Jason Derulo with a little bit of that wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. As now Wesley comes out on offense, TD through the group stages. I mean, 0-2 going into his final game, his offense did not look very uh, fluid at all. It seemed incredibly bogged down by these defenses. You got to think that this first game against Noah is going to be a test. Uh, this game against Noah, this first quarter against Noah, is going to be a test to find some rhythm on offense as he finds Holt underneath. I definitely agree. You know, this is strength versus strength. Wesley known for his offense. Noah known for his defense. And when I talked to Wesley, you know, he said he didn't feel like he played bad on offense. For, for him, it was more getting stops on defense. And as you saw in that first drive, he was unable to do it. Second down at five in the shotgun, that gun bunch formation. Wesley lost to Decroft 17 14 Scream! in group play. As a screamer off the edge, down goes Vic. He also lost to Henry 31 24. So it's not like he got blown out in any of those games, but he just couldn't find the defense. Yeah, that game with Henry was crazy, you know, back and forth passing. And he, he was able to get that big win versus Rage in order to lock himself into the wild card as he drops back to pass out. He had the crosser out there. Yeah, there it is. Oh, he's out. John Ross took that big step on the possession catch animation. You see Wesley shaking his head. No, he had an open player and it looked like he just threw it a tad late. Unbelievable. You can't get more open than that. Throws it too late and unfortunate break. Wesley very upset and now he's going to be forced to punt. So Noah getting a huge break right there. Talk about very different starts this game as Bo Jackson on the punt return will get to the 40-yard line. Noah starts off his first offensive drive, one play touchdown. Wesley, three and out. Is this an omen to how this game is going to go? Well, to that point, Nick, when I talked to Noah this week, he said he has extreme confidence going up against Wesley. These guys play a lot online a lot. We know Noah beat him in the Madden Challenge Final Four, so Noah says, I feel confident. I don't think Wesley can beat me. And so far with this game, he's got an easy touchdown run, and he's got a nice stop. Back on offense in good field position, so so far, he's looked phenomenal. Noah said one of the things he worked on most coming into the Madden Bowl was stopping Bunch. Well, guess what? He's going to match up with Wesley out of that gun. Bunch is Bo Jackson. All right, so he had 69 yards on his first run. Only gets eight this time. <laughs> Oh, man, that, I'm so impressed with that weak, close flex formation. We've seen it all year. I talked about this uh, last week. You know, we saw Volterex run that formation a lot in the club championship, uh, you know, with, with that halfback dive. And here we see it again, Noah using it so far in this tournament. That weak, close halfback dive flipped one of the best runs in all of Madden 20. Bo Jackson only played four years in the NFL, but, man, did he leave a lasting impression on the sports world. Two-sport athlete. Former Auburn Tiger, he'll take the carry, trying to run left, breaks one tackle. There's Tracy Porter, the former New Orleans Saint, in on the tackle, stopping Bo for no gain on the play. Unbelievable. <laughs> but that's one of those plays for Wesley where you're kind of upset because there was no gain on the play. Great. But you had him in the backfield for about a five-yard loss. Bo's able to break a tackle, fall forward, and get back to the line of scrimmage. So it gives Noah an easy, another manageable third and two here. Kind of a sickening play for Wesley. 
Can Noah pick up a first down? Third and two with Bo Jackson. It seems oh so simple. But Wesley looking to lock up defensively. There's Bo trying to fight his way through. And that is, I think, the underrated part of Bo Jackson in the game of Madden is that human joystick. It is absolutely powerful, but his ability to fall forward gets those extra yards, especially in these short yardage situations. Without a doubt, I agree. And you know, the thing in Madden, I've talked about this before, speed and height and weight, those little things matter. And when you throw in that human joystick with Bo, and then he falls forward like that, and this is the exact game plan Noah wants. He wants to run all the clock, all game, and, and just run this ball with Bo and get into the second quarter here, getting into that halftime area, up two possessions. And right now, he's about five, ten yards away from a field goal. No, sir, and Bo Jackson's going to make it a little easier. He he back stick. inside. On, Wave Bo. goodbye to sports. That is just way too easy for the Madden Challenge champion. And Noah is fired up, up 14-0. Wesley has no answer for Run D right now. TD, I feel like that group stage was, the Madden Challenge belt was sort of Noah's, you know, welcome to the scene. I'm, I'm, I can win a belt. That group stage, I feel like, was him solidifying how good he really is as a Madden player because of how well he plays. We take a look at this replay one more time. It's just a simple stretch run, but it's the stick work that sets him apart. Yeah, just a wiggle with, there with that human joystick. He audible to that I form close stretch. Oh, goes all the way to the end zone and 14 0. Come on, man. Give me one more stop. One more stop. It's crazy that the human joystick ability. I always hear a lot of people saying it just makes it like running a Madden 17. It's just different. It's almost a pick. Oh, Reed almost jumped that one. But Josh Cribbs with a diving catch to save a turnover. That could have been disastrous. Wesley has to recognize Noah's out here blitzing his outside cornerback on the solo side. Uh, basically every passing play so far. Wesley needs to recognize that and adjust accordingly. And once again, look for the lurk with Troy P. Cribs able to make another catch in front of the defender. Wesley is living on the edge right now. Yeah, scary pass right there, and he's blitzing that outside corner again. If Wesley just puts him on like a baby out route or even a hitch, it's an easy completion. He puts him on an in route. Noah has that one of the best lurks you'll ever see in competitive Madden, and he was all over that. So what could have been an easy big play turned into kind of a risky pass, but he's able to get that first down. We talked a lot about Bo Jackson, human joystick, how important it is for Noah, but that Troy P with Lurker made a couple big defensive plays. It's right down the middle, Jadavian Clowney, the soon-to-be former Seattle Seahawk, with the sack, and Wesley backed up into a second and long. Wesley sticking to that wide receiver post play with a little whip route and then that deep crosser with the deep post. And Noah staying in that 2-3-6 will, mixed up his coverage is nice there, but still bringing a lot of heavy pressure. Wesley's going to be able to pick it up as he drops into coverage here. Lots of time in the pocket with no blitz, but there's nobody open downfield. And so far, we're seeing the defensive mind of Noah go to work, mixing up how many players he's bringing on the blitz, and it's got Wesley in a third and long. Great job to disguise his coverage there. He's been blitzing the majority of the game, goes with the cover three cloud coverage look, and Wesley only had three routes out there, so great defense by Noah, and now a very tough situation, third and 16. Vic dropping back. Pressure up the middle, outside the pocket, throws back across the middle. That's Torrey Hope, but he's going to roll short of the line to gain. Wesley's going to have a fourth and short upcoming unfortunate animation as we head to the second quarter. 14, skunk to Noah. Great dot right there. He had that crosser mixed with the deep dig route, but I think he's going to go for it here on fourth and two. I, I agree with the call. We'll see what he cooks up. He needs two yards. It's only a three-man rush for Noah as he looks down the middle of the field. John Ross diving play and Wesley dialing up the dots on this drive after taking a couple negative plays. He's inside the red zone. Great patience shown right there by Wesley. He waited for Noah to bite down that whip route. He's able to go to that cross route. His bread and butter, his favorite play, and he picks it up for a huge first down. Sir, man, come on. Larker, it's Troy P going the other crazy. way. Just after we call out Wesley for his crispy dots, those right, dots go got on, soggy as on, Noah with the interception. Go get three points. Pop him, go get three. That is why you invest all that cap into the Lurker ability. Troy Polamalu with a huge pick, and that could be a dagger because 14 nothing with ball now. A costly, costly mistake by Wesley. Troy Polamalu once had a million dollar insurance policy for his hair, and he's making himself worth a million dollars on this defense. First and 10, pinned back at the four yard line, but Noah, he feels fine with that Bo Jackson in the backfield. 
Get out of there! Okay, get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! And both in open space! And both in open space! I don't know if anyone can run him down! Noah is here to stay! He is for real! And he's up by three scores! Oh my god, I'm having flashbacks, Nick. This looks just like the Madden Challenge, the Final Four game versus Wesley. He's doing it again, 21 0 in dominant fashion. Take a shot, take a shot. Oh, no, no, no. We got, we got five. Get out. Oh, Get out. man. Oh, come on. One more stop, and it is. I, I feel like, like right now, come on. Come on. Lil John come on. is singing come on. Snap come Your come Fingers in oh, yeah, oh, one great Thanos' ear because the curse is real. It's 21 0. Take a look at this interception one more time. Tell us about that lurker ability and what that allows Troy P to do. Man, he just has so much range right there. He's able to jump even further with that lurker ability. Uh, it's one of the best abilities you can have in the game on defense. And and Wesley just has no answer right now for this Noah defense. It's crazy. I asked Noah, you know, are you are you at all concerned about being a passer in what has been a run-heavy game? He said, listen, you got to do what makes you elite. And so for me, I know I'm one of the best passers in the world. If I started running, I'd only be an average runner. So at that point, I might as well stick with what I'm good at. So far, not looking too good as Vic scrambles out of the pocket. He'll pick up 14. It's so difficult to pass with reverse that lurker ability because what Wesley wants to do is kind of have two routes over the middle that forces Noah to use one. He can throw the other one, but that lurker can kind of cover two routes at the same time. It's just so good. And wow, it just doesn't look easy. Nothing looks easy for Wesley on offense or defense right now. Okay. Over the middle of the field, caught by Torrey Holt. He'll get to the 38-yard okay. line, give him five. Nice, easy pass over the middle. TD, you've got to think Wesley has to score on this drive to stay alive. Yeah, definitely. This is kind of a do-or-die situation, but he cannot press. He's got to He's got to calm down. 21 up and there's still time left. I know it's going to be difficult, but you got to keep yourself in the ball game. Well, he's going to keep himself on the ground as Khalil Mack, the Chicago Bear, comes around the edge, and everybody in the NFC North, they have on, seen this play, movie man, one too many times. Yeah, Khalil Mack, one of the best defensive players of the decade. And, you know, the thing we always – we, we got to stress this because Noah not having a quarterback allows him to have so much cap, all these high overalls all over his defense, and it's one of the hardest things to go up against. Second and 16, four-man rush over the middle, and this one batted away. Could have been a pick, double coverage. Noah's defense – I mean, listen, Bo's been great. He's found a couple lanes. But it's been this defense from Noah locking down one of the most prolific passers in the game of Madden. 21 nil. And it's only the second quarter. Troy oh P almost had another one. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's just Wesley looks like he's trying to, you know, do too much now. He's pressing. He, uh, he's got to just calm down a little bit. Fourth and 16. This is probably the game right here, as early as it is. You've got to convert right here if you're Wesley. Somebody please scream. Somebody please scream. In the Crazy game. to think Somebody we could have ball game. game. With 2.28 to go good. in the first half, it's fourth and long for Wesley. Trying to keep his dreams of a Madden Bowl title alive. Look at left side, Josh Prince. He drops it. Oh, the big hit by Noah's defense. He was open for a blink of an eye, and just like that, it's turned back over to Noah. What great recognition by Wesley. He saw the comeback route. And the, he, Noah blitzed his corner, but that Josh Cribbs has no abilities on him, and he cannot come up with a huge catch, and it's back to the ground game with Bo. And you hear Noah talking. He's saying he doesn't have the stick to make the tackles, and we've seen on a couple of those touchdowns by Bo Jackson, TD, Wesley had opportunities with the user, and Bo just ran right around him. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he he really did. It just Bo is just so good. Noah's stick work, like we always talk about, and that combination is hard to stop, man. And I'm just so impressed with Noah on defense, his lurking ability with Troy Polamalu, and Wesley's in a in a dire situation. This is very difficult to come back from. Two minute warning in the first half. Remember, this is all win or go home. Oh, no more group play. No, single so Elam. It, it's, oh, so it's weird to watch this game because so it, it is single elimination and we're still sort of in the mindset of group play, how important point differential was, but if there was ever a game that felt like two wins, it's how Noah is playing right now against Wesley. Without a doubt, and you know, when we talk to Noah, we ask him, are these wild card games like, are these like his thing, you know what I mean? He, it seems like he grabs all this momentum uh, when he, he doesn't do necessarily the greatest in groups and then he comes into these wild cards and just starts dominating. 
And could that be the case again here? Can he go on another run? I mean, he looks like he's going to be tough to beat. Noah had a top three offense through the group stages. 624 total yards. And that's with negative 27 through the air. Ty, he made up for those negative yards and more with this ground attack. <laughs> Just insane. And that's why you invest all. It really comes down to, I, to me, one of the things is the two, one of the two of the best abilities in the game he invested in when we're talking about Bo Jackson on human joystick and when we're talking about Lurker on defense with that Troy Polamalu. Now talking to Noah, asking, right, do you regret it all not taking a quarterback, TD? He said, listen, without that quarterback, I can build a stronger defense. And because that, that gives me the best chance to win. I may not have that safety net, but I feel like I can play better with that defense. So far, it's paying off. Yeah, without a doubt. And finally, West is going to get off the field. But to your point, Nick, yeah, Noah really feel like, felt like he built his team optimally. And we talked, we saw Volterex kind of felt that same way when he went on that club championship run. Noah doing a similar strategy and up 24 nothing. It's working to perfection. Ty, I mean, listen. We all know Wesley. We, we've watched him over the last couple of years develop his game. We've, we have a lot of respect for him. And so with that in mind, how surprising is it, not that Noah's winning this game, but that he's winning this game 24-0 in the first half? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we're talking about Wesley. This guy cashed in six of the last seven major EA events. He's finished a top five placement in four of the events. So he's one of the most consistent players we have on the circuit. And Noah just making him look silly on offense and defense. And you do start to wonder, Ty, if this is a continuation of what we saw in the group play where, you know, starts out 0-2, gets a big win over Rage in that final game to make it to the wild card round, but there were, apart from that Rage game, those first two, his offense didn't look very comfortable and his defense wasn't stopping anything, and uh, look what we got in this game. Yeah, definitely, and you know, Wesley, it almost looks to me like, I, I feel like he's just going to the same route combo over and over that wide receiver post with the crosser and the whip, and no one knows what that's coming. I, I, I mean, I think he, I would like to see him come out with something a little more prepared with another route combo. He, I, he goes to this crosser and this dig route, but no. this is the only two plays he's ran all game. Ah, Noah, what are you doing? As Torrey Holt makes the catch, can Wesley put a touchdown on the board? He said of his group play, that, listen, the Decroft game, I didn't play well. He ran a defense I hadn't played a lot, and he had the ball for over 15 minutes of the 20-minute game, so he never really had a chance to figure it out. But he said he felt like he played well in that Henry game and was gaining some momentum. Yeah, and you know, I, I feel like he's played a lot of two-three-six. Will you know? It's one of the meta pass defenses. He's probably you know he's played a lot of one-four-six. So I'm I'm surprised that he hasn't been looking a little more prepared, a little more efficient here on offense, going to those same two plays. I know he feels comfortable with them. Those are his bread and butter. But Noah's just all over both plays. Said he has the same game plan as he did in the challenge where he plays Final Four. He needs to have a good run defense and not turn the ball over. Well, in this game, his run defense has given up almost 200 yards already, uh, and he's turned the ball over. So, listen, you, you put that, those keys to the game on the board, TD, and none of the check marks are checked. You're probably not winning. Yeah, it's going to be tough to come back 24 nothing. but I like how he switched up, went to deep corner there. He had the deep post over the top, then he had that drag with the comeback combo. Noah was in cloud flats, didn't have hard flats out there, so he was able to check underneath to that drag for a nice completion. First and 10, little comeback route on the right side, and Josh Cribbs, a timing route, no timeouts left, 10-second runoff, and Wesley, second time we've seen him inside the 30 in this game, but the last time he threw an interception. Great route right there. He went with that comeback route, and that always will beat man if you have good route running. The thing that was a little scary is that Dion was on him. Dion, you know, all that speed at corner, and also he threw it to Josh Cribbs, who doesn't have a lot of abilities on him. So uh, it turned out to be a little risky pass, but he's able to uh, he's able to catch it and get and now get down. He's going to try to take one shot to the end zone here, 23 seconds, but you cannot take a sack. Only a three-man rush for Noah. Remember that. Come on. Uh, Wesley does get the ball at the half, but it doesn't matter when it's tipped into the hands of Ryan Shazier. Two turnovers inside the 30-yard line. And Noah's saying, put your life jackets on, because when a man is drowning, what do you do? You pour more water on him. More defense from the defending champ, and that's why he won the challenge. And Wesley looking like he's just trying to make something happen. He forces it in there. Noah's able to click on, get a tip pick. And we, if and we, he had three timeouts, he's gonna keep running with this bow. I mean, you might as well. 
11 carries, over 200 yards. I mean, you might as well see what you can do. So he'll take his first time out with 11 seconds left. Back into that strong eye formation. There are two wide receivers out there. They're both tight ends. So not a, not a whole lot of receiving ability as Bo Jackson's only going to pick up one. Does Wesley have a chance here in the second half? Listen, Wesley's a fighter. He's one of the, he, I call him the wild man out there because you never know what to expect. He's a little, he plays unpredictable on offense. As you see, he likes to force it sometimes. So I wouldn't count Wesley out it, completely, but down 24, man, it's going to be so hard, especially with the style that Noah plays with. Final play of the first half. Dominance from the 17-year-old. TD, he can't even vote. He can't even vote, and he has a belt over his shoulder, and he's dominating here in the wild card round. Insane, and one more run here with Bo. And Wesley, oh, nice spin, but Wesley played a little better run defense to end the second half, or to end the second quarter, but just a little too late. 245 yards from Noah. Gotcha, Second half. And Wesley, he's, he's looking for something. He's looking for, it, listen, he's looking for Danny Glover to come out and tell me there are angels out here in the end zone. Down 24 to nothing. This first half has been an exhibition of the Madden Challenge champion, the youngest belt winner in history. He's had plenty to say in this dominant performance. Let's listen in at Audible at home. Oh, sir, he ain't got the stick for it, man. He ain't got the stick! Come on, Bo! Come here! Hey, you just crazy! I knew what play was coming before even! Get out of there! Get out of there, Bo! Run fast! Run fast, Bo! Don't let him catch you! Don't let them catch you, Bo! Come on! Hey, for those of you watching us on Twitch, remember to keep yourself available for our Twitch drops. Make sure to link your EA account to your Twitch account so you can receive bonuses like a 95 overall Rob Gronkowski. Always great to have Gronk on your roster. Just ask the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The 95 overall Gronk is an exclusive Madden Bowl drop reward. As we continue to mention because how impressive it is, Noah, look at that, the youngest major winner of all time. And TD, if his performance here at the Bowl is any indication of what's to come, it won't be his last major. Noah's definitely here to stay. Look at that stat. All three of those guys, the youngest EA major winners, and we're, we're going to see all three of them today. So just incredible how good these guys are at such a young age. I just appreciate the top-notch uh, Madden commentary we're getting, the, the top-notch strategy for the people watching at home. Noah, tell him, Bo, run fast. That's some good tips. And man, you know what I love to see? A lot of people kind of, you know, give Noah some slack for his, his, you know, how he yells and how he's loud. But I grew up in the in the days of Cap'n, man. They, everyone's in your face, uh, loud. So I like to see that passion as another pick. Oh my goodness, man! It would be annoying if you were loud. That would that would suck. I don't know what that's like. Noah with another turnover and just keep the flood rolling. Oh man, I mean, it gets annoying when you're down 24 nothing and he's in your face. Wow, just every play, it seems like that Troy Polamalu is all over the field. 24 nothing. Wesley with the ball to start the second half and starts off with an interception. That's pretty much indicative of how this game has gone as Noah into the goal line formation. Turn on shoe clock, beef it up, and keep giving it to Bo. Right down the middle, he'll pick up a couple as he's up over 250 on the ground. Just insane. And, you know, a lot of debate on Twitter this week with the legends of Madden, the new school, the old school, all that kind of talk. And, you know, when I, when, when looking at Noah play, he wrote, his stick work just reminds me of some of the old legends we saw. You know, guys that started our game, Big Gene, Sandman, guys like Secret, House Shoe. Problem right, you know, so when I see Noah play with, with his stick work, it, it reminds me of those guys that I grew up watching, and I'm just so impressed with the kid. I really am. I love that Noah's up 24 nothing in a game that has gone in completely his way. And he still finds a way to be annoyed when Bo Jax gets brought down in the backfield. That competitive fire continues even in a dominating performance. 
Just ground. goes to show the kid is hungry. You know, he shows that passion, that fire. Look, he's still complaining. He's about to be at 27 and nothing. Just yeah. unreal. And you feel for Wesley, man, up there. He's just very disappointed in his performance. And Noah going to take all this yeah. clock down. Oh, now for Wesley, I feel like Wesley has been on the list for a long time, TD. is one of those guys that we expect... You know, he's going to be one of those next ones to get the belt. Just of how, you know, well he plays the game, how well he prepares. Is this a, a you know, he's qualified for a bunch of events this year, but this game really not built for him. As we take a look at this interception one more time, it's that lurker with Troy P. I mean, is, is there something to be said that Madden 20 isn't just built for a passer? Yeah, I mean, you see a lot of styles here, but the way the game is and the way these guys, especially here in salary cap, the way these guys are building their team, you know, you really wonder, is the optimal build uh, no quarterback having this great offensive line, this great defense? I mean, it, it, you know, it really, you really got to question some of these guys that want to pass every play. I know we want to be fun to watch, you want to be exciting, and, and you got to stick to your game plan. But, man, Noah just perfecting the strategy so well. Well, and, and, you know, talking with some of these guys, I've had a lot of discussions with them. The guys who are sticking with their pass game, sticking with their air attack. And most of them say the same thing, which is, listen, we know that runners have won the, 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 the first three majors of the year. But at the end of the day, we need to prove that passing can win this game. And we feel like we can give ourselves the best chance to win against these runners by airing the ball out and finding some big play touchdowns. And looking over the middle, Troy P can't make the pick. Yeah, just another risky pass. It's just, it's just that man, Troy P, again, over the middle. And, yeah, to your point, I mean, we do see balance here in the bowl. Like you said, I think we got six runners, five passers, and then we got Drini, who's kind of both. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's tough. I mean, oh, nice little in route right there, Tory Hall. But and listen, to your point, when you're down 27-0, I mean, you got to find yeah. the silver linings. <laughs> But these guys are sticking to their how, what got them there. We know Wesley. We know Kiv. We know Decroft, the Clef. These are the best passers in the world. They're not going to just change up their whole style and try to run the ball. They're going to do what got him this far. I mean, they're they're down to the top 12 best Madden player in the world at this point. You know, we're in the, this tournament is going to decide who the best Madden 20 player is. So they can't just switch their styles. But you, it's just crazy how how effective the run meta has been, and, and building your team has been an important part of it. Vic will go out of bounds to the 37-yard line. I also feel like we're we're starting to see, listen, run versus pass, whatever you decide to do, I think it depends on, you know, your style. But it seems like defense is really the key. Who can stop either the run or the pass most effectively? And so far, the runners have been able to contain the passing attacks. I agree, yeah. That's really been the key to the, everyone. I mean, defense, you look at the classic, Mo. Uh, played had the best run defense that no one knew about there. He was able to sh stop everyone. Then you look at the ch club championship with Volterax. His defense was stacked with his roster. And then you look at, he, at the challenge with Noah. I mean, he played phenomenal defense. His stick work, his hit sticks. And here we go again. So I think defense is always the determining factor on who wins a championship, especially in Madden. First and ten. Vic dropping back. Wesley looking to put points on the board. Stay alive, looking for Krebs in the end zone. Did he get the feed in? He did indeed. Josh Krebs puts Wesley on the board. And a deep sigh from Wesley as he knows it may be too little too late, but at least he ain't getting skunked. There he goes. He got points on the board. He only needs three more of those now. And it's going to be tough with the time, but good drive right there by Wesley. You know, he stayed with his game plan, that wide receiver post with the crosser in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. But now he's going to have to get a stop. And, he, you know, it's going to be tough because he's going to get into the fourth quarter here. 27 to 7. As, you know, there, you look at Wesley, you can just see the disappointment. And, and this is the tough part, especially this stay at home format where we've had to extend the tournament. It's not like he only had one day to prepare, like maybe if we were in the yeah, studio shows with the group play is immediately oh followed by wild cards. Oh he had a couple oh days to lab, a couple days to prepare, and so to wait all that time oh to then get dominated by Noah, that's got to be as frustrating as it gets. That definitely hurts. I mean, we know Wesley, he puts in the time, one of the best players in the world. When we talked to him, you know, he said, you know, he didn't have the best years a couple years ago when he was still in school, but 
He's really dedicated himself full time to this. He plays with the 818 boys, some of the best players in the world. So, and he, I know he's put in the work this this past week getting ready for this game. So to come out here down 27 to seven, obviously very frustrated, and you know it's tough to see. 20 point lead. I mean, again, it, it you never know what'll happen in the game, Matt. We saw a a group game end with a squib kick return. So who knows? But right now, Noah in firm control. So he's gonna make this the last play of the third quarter. Manning under center, hands it to Jackson. Nowhere to go up the middle. We haven't gotten to say nowhere to go for Bo Jackson a whole lot in this game. <laughs> nah, Bo's doing everything he wants. Bo knows best, and right now, no one knows best. 27 to seven as we're getting into the fourth quarter. Three quarters down. One to go, and it is still all Noah. Wesley able to put a touchdown on the board in the third quarter. Unfortunately, he's still down by 20. Can Wesley find a way to come back? It's time to head to our fourth quarter. It's presented by Creamy Snickers. You're not smooth when you're hungry. Oh, no, no, no pressure. This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zero. Try this Creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and creamy Snickers. Well, you know who's not a zero? Noah. He's up 27 to 7. And you know, we, I feel like we always have this discussion, TD, especially as you get towards the Madden Bowl, and we don't know how this Madden Bowl is going to end on Saturday, but you sort of have a discussion of guys who had the best year in the MCS. Noah, if he's able to continue this run, even if he doesn't get the belt, has got to be in the conversation for having the be one of the best years in the MCS. For sure. You know, he's got to be top five, top ten as far as the year. You know, arguably some people would say he's the best in the sport right now coming off the, the championship and the challenge. As, no, as Wesley finally playing some defense here. So it's not over. Five minutes to go, three timeouts. But yeah, Noah's definitely having a great year. I mean, you got to consider him, and especially if he can make a run into this in this bowl and get down to the end, he's definitely got to be considered for one of the best players this year. You know, we asked Noah, how do you, uh, we said that he likes playing in the, in the wild card round. We asked him about it. You know, do you feel comfortable in that wild card round? And he says, yeah, it, it, it feels like if I can win that one, I have momentum going into the next game. You know, these guys want that bye, but getting that win in the wild card round almost feels like a, a team in the NCAA tournament getting like a, a buzzer beater victory in the first round. Even though, you know, maybe you, you wanted to win that game by 20, you have some confidence going into the next rounds as you face some stiffer competition. I agree, you know, and I, I think there's a lot of momentum in competitive Madden. You know, some people might not agree with that, but when you're when you when you get these games in this wild card round, you get that game off your belt. First game of the day, I always play bad. So when you can kind of get that under your belt, see what's going on, get get the feel for it, and compared to someone who has to sit home and has a bye, they're gonna have to come out right out of the gate playing. I think you know that momentum can play a huge advantage. Obviously, you prefer to have the bye, but uh, momentum definitely plays a part here in competitive Madden. Vic trying to look over the middle of the field. Oh, Torrey Holt, heavy pressure, inaccurate. Torrey Holt went, I'll make this an accurate pass. He snags that one under the ear, out of the air, as Noah is on pace to have the number two most rushing yards in a Madden Bowl game ever. Is that just under the mark of 252? You gotta think he's gonna find a couple more yards. That's just That just tells you how dominant his rushing attack has been. Thank you, Thank you. Definitely, you know, his rushing attack is one of the Thank best, you. and he throws another oh. pick right there, Wesley. No. no, That's, listen, this seems like an obvious point, but that's not the right team. That's three picks for Noah. And that one wasn't even Troy P. That was Justin Reed jumping in there and getting an interception. When it rains, it pours, and when it pours, it floods. And for Wesley, I think he's looking up at the clock at this point going, are we done yet? Can I go? Yeah, I was just about to say, if Wesley could have scored right there in a couple plays before the before three minutes, you know, it might have got a little interesting, but that pick will definitely just seal the game right there. Noah just going to take all this time down to the two-minute warning and probably punt it away, and he's going to move on to the quarterfinals, and very impressive. 
pretty sure he just took the mic off. But it, you know, it, he didn't have much to say in this one, especially compared to Noah, but he's like, listen, there's no more to go. As there's Bo Jackson one more time, Ooh. breaking tackles and breaking hearts. 267 yards on the day. Yeah, and that'll do it right there. Wesley going to call it, a, call it a day. And Noah, just so impressive offense, defense, and wow. I mean, he's going to be really tough to beat with the way he built his team. Well, there's the tap, TD, and there's...